good morning, everyone. My name is Nargis, and I'm coming from uh, Kabul, Afghanistan. Uh, today, I'll be sharing with you guys an experience of gift giving that I um, started when I was 15 years old. Uh, so, um, in 2009, right after the presidential elections happened in Afghanistan, I and a group of other youth activists in uh, Kabul, we decided to gather and write a letter to President Hamid Karzai to congratulate him for being elected as the president of the country and also to tell him that what were the needs and expectations of Afghan youth from the upcoming government. Uh, we wrote the letter, we organized a press conference via which we wanted to deliver our message. But unfortunately, at the same day when we conducted the press conference, a suicide bomber happened to blow himself and uh, the explosion grabbed all the attention and nobody cared about our conference or the letter. Uh, eventually, we sent the letter to the government, but we never heard anybody from the government speaking about it or mentioning the fact that uh, youth of the country sent the letter to the president. Uh, but nevertheless, um, the, the, uh, the uh, progress of writing the letter uh, provided me with a chance to meet this great Afghan youth who were really committed to work for Afghanistan uh, beyond their religious, ethnicity, language differences that they had. They all were there to do something good for the country and it was a great chance for me to work with those youth and you learn from their experiences. Uh, so, uh, be among these other people, there was this girl that was working with a small group of volunteers in one of the provinces. Her name is Zubaida and um, she was uh, working with a volunteer group. She invited us over uh, for a dinner in a fancy restaurant in Kabul and we spoke about how important it is to promote volunteerism among Afghan youth. So, uh, we spoke about how important it is and we, how important it is that we should have a, a youth movement, a volunteer youth movement, uh, which is originated from Afghans. Because um, most of the civil society organizations in Afghanistan are corrupted and are very project-based. And people don't trust them anymore because they, the one important thing that they care about is money. So, we wanted to uh, do something which was volunteer and was coming from Afghans to Afghans. So that's how uh, we formed Hadia, the Volunteer Group for Social Reform. Hadia is an Arabic word, uh, a common Arabic word between Arabs and, Pas and uh, Persians. It means gift. So our organization is a gift from Afghans to Afghans. We have uh, 40 active members in three provinces of Afghanistan where we organize different activities and events. Uh, one of the activities that we do in Afghanistan is to work to empower Afghan women. Uh, especially, we work with women in prisons and in shelters, safe houses. Uh, so these women are being uh, victims of violence at home and society and they're sent to prison for, for no reason, basically. And we try to advocate for their legal rights as well. And we try to empower them by training them on special um, skills. For example, we teach them how to make handicrafts and we bring out their products to Kabul and hold exhibitions for their products um, and sell their products um, to, to people, to international community in Afghanistan and also locals. Uh, the money that comes from the exhibitions, we send it back to these women. So once they are out of the prisons and out of shelter houses, they have some money to work with and they have um, they have some skills that th which, which they could go back. Because in my society, once women are in prisons, they are never accepted back in society. They think they were bad women. Because of that, they were sent to jail. And nobody cares if they, they, they did a crime or no, but they were sent to jail. So they won't accept them back in society. By this program, we want to empower them and to give them some skills and also some money once they're out of the prison, they can use the money and invest something. Uh, the other program that we are working on is uh, fighting back sexu uh, sexual street harassment of Afghan women. So we are, in 2010, we organized the first walk against street harassment. In my country, people think that it's something really normal that a woman is harassed on the street and men feel, uh, feel it's, a f it's fun for them, they like it, they, they tease you, they say bad words to you, and they never care. They don't care and they do not understand that that could be a big barrier for Afghan women to fight, to go out or to work. So 
uh, we, we raised the issue up and we told everybody that this is a big problem for Afghan, Afghan women because when I'm harassed on the street, the next day I wouldn't want to go back to the street, so I prefer to stay at home. And since Afghan women make 52% uh, of the population, imagine if all these women wouldn't want to go out of their houses and work, what would happen to the society? So we fight against uh, the street harassment. We try to educate people on their rights, educate women on their rights, and also educate men about the fact that if a woman is harassed, it's not her fault, it's your fault, and you should not be doing that. Uh, we have women's culture clubs, where we organize uh, movie showcasing nights for women, where we organize music nights for women, we organize networking nights for women. We want to bring all these active women in Afghanistan together to, to uh, provide them with an opportunity to, to meet and connect with each other and learn about different organizations that each one of them are running. Uh, we also work with children. There's an orphanage called Shahid Orphanage. Has 80 little kids in the orphanage and most of these kids are victims of civil wars in Afghanistan and they have lost their parents in war so they have no one to, to take care of them. They are at the orphanage, our volunteer teachers are uh, helping them get education, we distribute stationaries to them, we go to the orphanage and spend days with them in order to, to build a connection with them, an attachment and, uh, and, uh, and give them the feeling that there are people who care about you. Uh, and also we uh, train them on some skills that once they're grown up, they have some skills to work with. Like, produ like making handicrafts, making jewelries and all this. Uh, and we also work with street children. Uh, so we, um, because street children are, are the part of the society that nobody thinks of. They think that, okay, these children are a street and they, they don't, we don't care about them, they don't get education and they, there's nothing that they can do for the society. But then we organize public events for the children and we uh, get snacks, get balloons, get some fun things. We uh, organize some, um, some music for them at the, some local parts in Kabul and we bring all these children together and to tell them that you are not forgotten. You are a part of the society and if you're educated you will be doing great in your future. And we try to play with them and make them feel that they are important for us. We have an environmental campaign with our organization. It's called Green and Cobble Campaign, where we invite people from the government, from international community, from different organizations, and we go out and clean the streets of Kabul because pollution is crazy in Kabul, and we want to tell people that it's really important that you clean up your streets and, and keep the streets clean. And it's not always the government's responsibility to come and pick up your trash and you're responsible for it to keep it clean and safe. So it's also a chance for different people from different organizations, like somebody from the government and somebody from the international community to come and see how Afghan youth feel about their country when we are cleaning up the streets. Uh, we do cultural activities. We, we want to promote Afghan culture and uh, arts, uh, for which we organized a cultural festival uh, it's called Appreciating the Differences. So we brought people from different regions of Afghanistan to Kabul, like from north, west, south, and we told them that there are lots of common values between Afghans from different regions, and let's focus on the common values and on the common uh, uh, perceptions that we have against, uh, between each other instead of pointing out the differences and fighting for them all the time. Uh, so we, we provided everybody with a chance to represent their culture via their food, music, dance, the multimedia productions that they have. And the festival got a lot of attention in Afghanistan. And now we are trying to move it to one of the northern provinces and bring people from southwest to north to show them how life actually goes in, in north, for example. Uh, at the end, I would love to introduce you to our youngest member, who is my small brother. Uh, um, his name is Shahriyar, and um, uh, Shahriyar is the youngest little guy participating in our Hadia meetings every Friday, giving his opinion on what we should do for children and doing his part for shaping a new Afghanistan. Now he and his generation will be writing the fate of an Afghanistan where happiness, prosperity and hope will change the war in the face of the country. Thank you so much.